And for the Rockies, as we were just discussing, it is start number two for Colorado for Chase Anderson. If you include the five innings, he threw down in Tampa. He's only allowed three hits this year. Anderson is set to deal to birdie. And the first pitch ripped into left field for a base hit. So talk about that speed for birdie. Maybe we'll see that on display as one pitch and the Marlins have a base runner. So here's Luis Arise. This is a double play ball. Here's one and a fire to first from Tobar. Well done. It worked out nicely. Now Solaire. And he hits the ball in the air to center field. Easy play for Brent Doyle, and it turns into a six-pitch inning. And for the Marlins, making his tenth start of the season is Edward Cabrera coming off a win against the Nationals. It was a good outing for him for a multitude of reasons. Just a couple of earned runs, six strikeouts. Big deal for him, no walks. That was elevated. I'm sure we'll use that word a few times for four days, but uh, a strikeout there for Cabrera, and there's one away. This ball is well hit to right off the bat of Profar, and it gets over the head of De La Cruz. And that's now 30 straight that Profar's reached in. A one-out double. So the Rockies with a great opportunity here. One out, Profar at second. Here's Chris Bryant. And Bryant drives this ball to deep left field on the move. His birdie off the wall and kicks way right away from him. Profar has scored. Bryant will stop at second. Back to back doubles and the Rockies lead it one to nothing. They've already doubled their hit total against Cabrera from a year ago. Here's Elias Diaz. And Diaz unloads towards left center field and a diving catch is missed out there. Bryant around third. He will score. How about three doubles in a row? Diaz with his 23rd RBI, 2 to nothing, Colorado out of the gate. Two away now, and here is Harold Castro. Couple runs in for the Rockies already. Couple of strikeouts in the first inning for Cabrera, but back to back to back doubles for the Rockies. Have them up 2 nothing. Garrett Cooper to lead things off. De La Cruz and Gene Segura to follow against Chase Anderson. Sends this one out to center. Long run for Doyle. That will help over his head. Bounces over the uh, off the wall, rather, and into second base with a double. We'll take that. Brian De La Cruz had a 14-game hitting streak snapped yesterday. He's been tearing it up. And that gets away from Diaz. And out at third. McMahon got there in time. And they get Cooper trying to move up as the ball got away momentarily. The veteran Gene Segura. This is right back at Chase. There's one. And there's the second double play in as many innings for the Rockies. This is Brenton Doyle leading these off for the Rockies. And they will in this at bat. Third strikeout for Cabrera. And that'll bring up Ezekiel Tovar. Ground ball to third. Knocked down by Segura. Throws from his knee to get the out. Get the married men off the infield. <laughs> it's a good bounce back inning for Cabrera. And that'll take a two out hit from Arise. Rise did not get a hit yesterday. For the most part, he does not go hitless in back-to-back -back games. 2-2. Two -two. Back behind short. It'll get down a base hit. Stallings coming around third. He's going to score. Hampson gets to third. It's an RBI single for Luis Rise. Marlins are down 2-1. to one. Jorge Soler, who flew out to center his first time up. Slowly hit. Who's going to field it? It'll be McMahon. Gets it there in time to get Solaire, and that saved a run. So good play by Ryan. Blackman's been swinging it lately, last 10 games coming in, hitting 324. Called strike three. That was the fastball down and away corner. Second time he's gotten Blackman. Here's Chris Bryant. And a line drive to left field is caught. Well, a good bounce back, two innings in a row for Edward Cabrera. And a four-pitch walk to load the bases. Big spot here for Jacob Stallings, who walked and scored in the third inning. Right now trying to help his battery mate, Edward Cabrera, out. This one a bouncer toward third. There's one at the bag, I think. Yes. McMahon kind of tried to do two things at once and just barely able to swipe third on his way by. It'll be an RBI ground out. Garrett Hampson at the plate. He had a little sandwich to right for a base hit. And that is an easy play for Tolia. The Rockies are sort of sitting on some off-speed stuff. Gave it to him anyway. Good pitch right there. Gets the strikeout. Brenton Doyle. Fly ball left center for Birdie. He makes the catch. So Cabrera works around the leadoff walk in the fourth. And we're tied heading to the fifth. Now De La Cruz. He's got a couple of hits. A run scored. 
How about this? A three hit day for De La Cruz. I see you, DLC. <laughs> Just taking what the pitcher's giving him. Gene Segura coming to the plate. Segura to deep right. And what a catch out there by Bryant. Chris needed all six foot five to reach up and steal extra bases from Gene Segura. And Jacob Stallings comes up. A chance to give the Marlins the lead here. De La Cruz at second. Wendell the runner at first. 2 1 on the former North Carolina Tar Heel line drive right at Tolia. And that ends the threat. And in steps Elias Diaz. Been on base twice. The RBI double in the first. A walk. So far the only one of the night for Cabrera. This ball toward the end of the bat, but still deep left field. And enough to get over the wall. And give the Rockies a 3 2 lead. What a season it's been so far for Elias Diaz. Rivera trying to get through six innings for the second time this year. His longest outing was against the Giants. Nub toward third for Segura. And that'll do it. But the home run for Diaz, the difference right now as we go to the seventh at Coors Field. Batting average, he's six for ten with two outs and runners in scoring position. One, two, swung on and missed. Jake Bird gets it done with a little traffic. Eighth appearance for Chagua. He's been good for the Marlins. You think? Look yeah. at those numbers. Well, it's going to change at some point. See if Yurks and Profar can come through. The Marlins trying to keep it at a one-run deficit. Profar has been one of their hotter hitters. And this ball driven high at deep right field. It is off the middle of the wall. Doyle has scored. Here comes Tovar. He'll score. Two-run double jerks at Profar. And the Rockies have a 5-2 to two lead. How clutch was that? De La Cruz up to second base. Now Jacob Stallings. Bouncing ball. Past the dive of Tolia and into right field. De La Cruz rounding third. He'll score. And Jacob Stallings comes through with a ribby. 5-3. Big two out now. This has popped up. Castro calling for it. And Harold makes the catch. And now Arise with one out. There's a line drive base hit for Arise. That's the base runner the Marlins need. And they've got their slugger Soler coming up as the tying run in the ninth. Jorge Soler 0 for 3 in a walk tonight. He's been very hot the last few weeks. And this ball line towards center field and tracking it down is Brett Doyle. Two gone in the ninth. Last chance for the Marlins is Garrett Cooper. He's got it. Ball game over with the tag. The very fine five to three win.